Now to the latest from the Middle East. The death toll in Gaza Strip from Israeli airstrikes continues to rise. Health authorities in Gaza says 65 percent of fatalities in the territory this week have occurred in the south, where Israel continues to warn the residents to evacuate. In the West Bank city of Bethlehem, people protested against Israeli airstrikes in the Gaza Strip and the worsening humanitarian situation. We cannot tolerate anymore the invasion of uh, the Israeli forces uh, and bombing on Gaza is not accepted. There have been clashes at checkpoints, demonstrators throwing stones, Israeli troops responding with tear gas. In a televised speech Wednesday, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu repeated his warning to Gaza residents to evacuate. We have already killed thousands of terrorists, and this is only the beginning. I call again for the non-involved population in Gaza to evacuate to the south of the Strip. Netanyahu says preparations for a ground assault are still underway. He did not say when it would begin. The Wall Street Journal quoted officials from the U.S. and Israel governments as saying that Israel has agreed to delay its Gaza incursion at Washington's request. The newspaper says the U.S. asked for time to complete the deployment of air defense systems protecting American forces stationed in the region. The journal says the deployment is due to finish as early as the latter half of this week.